Hello and welcome to NDTV Profit. Uh, you're watching uh, uh, the earnings uh, review for uh, uh, for Tuesday. Now uh, we have IDFC First Bank, which reported its numbers on Saturday. Uh, profit growth of about 18%. NII up about 30% year on year. I have with me the MD and CEO of the bank, Mr. Vivaithanathan. Uh, Mr. Vivaithanathan, welcome to the conversation. Uh, first question: Would this gap between NII and net profit uh, growth, uh, if you can explain, was what happened here? Our OPEX was a little higher than what uh, it should have been, uh, about 70 odd crores. So on a post tax basis, let me call it about 40, 50 crores. And I think um, we probably did a little below, below par. Okay. Uh, just try, trying to get a sense of the elevated provisioning number as well. That's about 45%. Uh, I, I wanted to get a sense as to where this provisioning has gone then, because you, you mentioned that AIF was not a problem for IDFC first. No, of course, we don't have any AIF, AIF exposure, but the, um, uh, uh, but the provisions basically last quarter, same time, uh, the recoveries from COVID write-offs were coming, uh, while now that has ebbed off. So think of this as more normalized times. And even these numbers are like 1.3% credit loss to average book. We already guide for 1.5. So it's absolutely normal. You should expect these sort of provisions every quarter now, uh, because uh, because that's the, that's the nature of the model. Right, sir. Um, on the net interest margin front, uh, you've reported a 10 basis point upward move uh, on a sequential basis. I just wanted to get a sense, you know, you're already on the higher end of the NIM bracket. Um, a 10 basis point improvement would mean that uh, you, basically your lending yield is, is significantly higher than what the rest of the industry is working with. Yeah, it's very simple actually. Last last quarter we dropped our uh, uh, rates on uh, uh, on savings accounts uh, from four percent to three percent uh, for up to one lakh rupees. So that obviously helped us uh, in improving the margins. We feel it to be stable here. It's, we don't see any, any concern on this front. And uh, the good thing is that this you know with these margins we're also getting very stable asset quality. So as a combination, it should be seen. You know, our gross NP is only 1.45% on retail, uh, retail SME and rural, and net is only 0.5. So good asset quality with good yield. It's a good combination. I think it's a, it's a unique position to have in the industry. Okay. Uh, during the quarter, you also gave a five-year guidance. Now, uh, guidance 1.0 was, was done. Now, you're looking at the second uh, uh, five-year period. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the numbers that you've listed out in your releases. 20% balance sheet growth. Uh, you're guiding for about 17-18% ROE, uh, looking at about 1.5% on the gross NPA. Uh, I think 0.4%, less than 4.4% on the net NPA. Uh, how are you achieving these numbers? Uh, we have put uh, reasonably achievable numbers in our opinion, uh, because what we've done is we've just assumed that the loan book will grow by 20%, which in this country growing 20 is not difficult. We're already growing at 25. In fact, we'll slow down to come to 20 if it all become there. So, or as we go there. So, uh, so that should be a loan side. Um, deposit was assumed only at 24.5%. So we feel it's easy to achieve because already growing at 40. So if we just meet these two numbers, uh, the loan book at the end of fifth year uh, by our, let me say, informed um, guidance, informed guess, uh, which is converting to guidance, uh, is that we'll have a loan book of about 5 lakh crores. Uh, we'll have a deposit base of about 6 lakh crores um, uh, or 585. And then uh, with that, uh, you know, we believe we'll, be, we'll still be growing at 20%. We believe a return on equity will touch um, 17, 18%. Uh, and uh, that's a story. and and we have fantastic intellectual property because the unique bank and unique you know very good model. So I think that sort of picture we are uh, we are we are we are aiming to get, and the numbers are reasonable. We believe are achievable. But you said that uh, you would have to actually slow down from the current uh, rate to uh, to match the guidance. I, I'm trying to understand where this is coming from. Is it largely because you're probably going to look at uh, reshuffling the loan book a little bit? No, no, no reshuffling because we like all our businesses we're building, uh, except that, you know, the currently growing at 24.5, um, our main focus is asset quality, asset quality, asset quality. We take big pride in the fact that our gross NP is 1.5 and it is 0.5. That's a bit of a, you know, um, that's something we like to state and we, we want that badge of honor. So, uh, so for us, big focus is asset quality. And um, and then we have guided this number. If we could do a little bit, maybe a percent or two more than that, we will definitely do.